There are times in Sign Presenter when you use a playlist created by somebody else, and you may want to modify that playlist, um, but you do not have access to because you are not the owner. Uh, so what we have is the option to use nested playlist instead that gives you a lot of this flexibility. Uh, the way you set this up is just create a new playlist and you can add a existing playlist to it. Um, in this case I'm going to use a lessons.church feed um, which is pulling in a curriculum from lessons.church. Uh, so this is ready to go and it'll work if you just hit save. Uh, but you may want to modify this a little bit to say include some worship music in the playlist. Uh, you have a couple ways to do this. Uh, one is you can just click on worship music and move them around however you like. So now you have a worship song and then your lesson. And if you want, you can add another worship song to the end of that. Uh, so this is a totally valid setup right here. Um, but you may also want to insert these worship songs into the middle of the lesson somewhere. Um, so to do that, you can use subsets of the playlist where you don't include the entire playlist, but you only include part of it. Um, so I'm going to click here to set a subset. And here you can see all the items in this lessons playlist. This will change from week to week, the exact items in that playlist. Um, but most lessons more or less start the same way and end the same way. It's in the middle. The number of slides may change or there may be some sound effects. Um, so you can use this to... Um, select which message you want to start with within that playlist and where you want to end. So we're going to start at zero from the beginning. That's this very first slide right here. And if we wanted to include, say, the first two slides, we'd just go from zero from the beginning to one from the beginning, and that would include these two slides right here, number zero and one. Uh, if we want to just include the countdown only and then go straight into music, we'll do zero to zero. So that's only going to include this one slide of index zero from the beginning. So I'll do that, hit update. So now in our playlist, I'll go ahead and move this around a little bit, um, we have part of the lessons playlist here. It's going to start at the beginning and play through just the beginning slide, nothing else. And then we will play a worship song at that point or two. Then we can come in here and say, all right, after we've done those two worship songs, we want to resume the same lessons playlist so I've added another copy of it here to the bottom. We're going to select the subset again. This time, since we've already played this very first slide here that's zero from the beginning, we're going to start at one from the beginning. And let's say we go down into the big point slide. We want to include the big point and then pause again for another song. So I'm going to do just one from the beginning to four from the beginning. Hit update. Okay, so now we have the lesson, two songs, uh, four more slides of the lesson, and let's add some more songs in here. Um, here, we'll add this one. So we'll do one more song, and then we can resume our playlist a third time. So we're gonna go through here. We left off last time. We're playing slides one from the beginning through four from the beginning. And that can get a little confusing because it starts with zero from the beginning. So four from the beginning is actually the fifth slide in here if you count down. Um, but anyway, since we left off at four, we're going to just pick right back up at five. And this time we're going to play all the way to the end. So it's going to go all the way down here. Well, there's 37 slides this week. There may be 32 next week. Uh, it doesn't matter though, because we're going to say go all the way to zero from the end, which is the very last slide. Uh, you could say two from the end if you want to stop and add another song near the end somewhere. But in our case, we'll just say zero. Hit update, and I'll go ahead and save this and pull it back up so we can see it. Okay, so we're going to play the very first slide, two worship songs, play slides one through four, play another worship, and then play slides five through the end. Uh, so that's how you set up a uh, nested playlist in Sign Presenter.